gentlemen, boys and girls, I am know it all. Now, today we are building an adventure mine coaster. So, this is me putting in the track. Now, what this is, it gives you an idea of how to build a well, uh, a fairly exciting, um, low fear, low nausea roller coaster. But the idea of this is we're going to build temples around it once the track is done. So, the lift hill is in, I'm putting in the first drop. Now this shows you that what you do is you just put the track together quite quickly. Uh, so here we go, put in a helix. Now there's no inversions on this ride, so now a nice straight section, which is going to be inside the temple, ideally. Now well, that's the logic I'm using uh, for these straight sections. So here's another straight section. Again, this should be inside with traps and stuff like that happening. Uh, so again, I was looking for helixes. So up comes another one, and the track feeds back on itself. And again, nice big straight section. And again, bank turn. And uh, basically, we will come back towards the station. Now, just before the station, you want to put in a set of block brakes. So, in go the block brakes, and then some trim, and also some uh, drive wheels to get the car back to the station. So, here we go. Here's the test. Now, this is all in time lapse, uh, so this is fairly quick. So, as you can see, the coaster car drops down, round goes round, comes round, and of course this coaster tilts as it goes round corners, uh, a bit like the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train in Magic Kingdom in Florida. Now what we're doing now is we're testing it to see, that, I mean the excitement was appalling, uh, fear was excessive, and the vomit was quite high, uh, nausea. So here we go, now what we're going to do is you can edit the track. So what you can do is once you've built your main layout, uh, you can go in and click on individual pieces. You can adjust the rotation, uh, the angle, the positioning, and it allows you to manipulate your coaster uh, once you've got the initial track layout done. And then by using the smooth banking and smooth all, what you can do is as you manipulate it, it's also smooth it out at the same time to give you a better track. So you get your ideal kind of shape in, what you want to do, then you play with it until you get those stats in an area that you're happy with. Now what I wasn't paying attention to here is the fact that the track was dropping under the ground, which is why it was red. So there we go, I've raised the track and now I can create a bigger helix. Now this track is now all botched, so uh, what we do is we manually smooth it all out. But not too much, because of course this is a runaway mine coaster, so we want it to be fairly, uh, fairly twisty and turny. So as you can see, I'm looking at the different things, so excitement and fear. Get the heat maps on, and we can see what everything is doing. So now, excitement's up to 5.46, fear's down to 3.82, and nausea was in the green, which is all good. So we carry on, and basically you keep playing with it until you're happy. So yeah bit more on the helix there and you can see the car exploding there as I was adjusting the track as the test car was going past so it exploded on the rails okay so we're getting a bit better now we've got some lifts drops everything else we're averaging five on the excitement which is good yeah I mean it's not in the green but it's still good and then of course what we're going to want to do is then theme this ride um, so I'm fairly happy with the traffic with the track at this point um, I'm just making a few little minor adjustments and then what you'll see is I go in to start building the station but this is the important part of building a coaster even if you want to build a dark ride you want to do the track first um, because everything else you build around the ride if you try and do a building and then put a track inside it you're going to give yourself a lot more constraints and it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to do so so I would suggest always doing the track first and then going on to even if you want to turn it as I said into a dark ride and inside ride do the track first uh, because at least once you've got the track layout done you can then put the scenery and theming see here I'm putting in the basic part of the station uh, I always use walls uh, in line with the station building itself as an initial part of the building. So here I was adjusting the grid size because it wasn't allowing me to put the pieces in place uh, and that's done on the right hand side under the settings. Uh, so this is getting the rest of the wall in place. So boom, 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 boom. And this gives you a starting point. It's always worth doing this even if even if it's not needed and you add additional building around it by the time you're finished it gives you an initial starting point so you've got your entry and exit of the station 
and there you go. What I do then is I go in and I manipulate the terrain. You can see I've started to put some tempo in and I've gone around and manipulated all of the terrain. Now we're putting in the temple pieces because this helix is going to be inside with traps uh, that will all be triggered by the coaster as it goes through, but we need to build it so it is inside. So this is where I'm now using advanced move, dropping in the four meter by four meter by four meter by four meter cubes and building up a temple. So here we go, put in some more additional blocks and build up this wall and then drop as well get those blocks in and then start going around the corner and you want it to also be because this is a temple or what a ruined temple uh, you don't want it all to be even you'll notice uh, later on that the angle of this is then different to the angle of the back wall so it looks like you've had subsidence and the temples fallen down over the years I then realized that this block was uh, too big uh, so what I done was this row it was fine but on the next row I went to a different shape of block so it was still encapsulating the ride um, but allowed me to um, continue with the building looking the same on the outside. Uh, Jewel rotated it so my uh, arrows were all pointing in the right direction and then started to put in the additional wall. Again all part of how you can do so it's still a dark ride and uh, then we go back to the normal blocks and start finishing off this wall but for now you can see the beginnings of it uh, then we go to the adventure theming and we look at the traps and see which ones we want to put in so saw blade yep that'd be quite cool working out the positioning of where you want to put it so it's activated and uh, now I have the game paused when I'm building coasters uh, so you'll see what I do is once I've sorted the angles out and everything else is unpause it to see where this actually goes so here we go and that's where the saw goes okay so I'm working out the angle there on the coaster does it need to be triggered or can it just constantly go in and out um, that will be later decided now on the drop uh, after the lift chain I want to put another one in now trying to work out the best way to put it with the way the blade comes out of the trap so there we go decided on that there we go it looks quite good and again that will be a trigger so that as the coaster is approaching that blade comes out and goes back in but the coaster goes through unharmed so it gives you the fear but without actually cutting anyone's heads off of course so there we go I'm still adjusting the thing is a lot of these pieces require a lot of fine tuning before you get them into a position that you are completely happy with and that's fine it takes time you want you want to be happy with what you're creating don't rush it it's another piece of advice I have is um, don't rush these buildings um, take your time and as you can see here we've now got the break angle so I've decided to put these on a slightly different angle to the other blocks and as the wall gets built up you will see that you get a increasing break angle so it looks like the front part of the temple has subsided and this back part of the temple hasn't see there you can see the gap building up and it's those kind of things uh, if you're ever stuck for ideas or anything else just even Google, Google some temples or buildings or anything else just to give you some kind of inspiration for what you want to do in your park when you're building these rides. Um, now of course this is going to be part of the entire adventure section of this park um, which I will as always release onto the Steam Workshop once the park is finished. Uh, but if there's anything that you guys um, are ever like stuck on or anything like that do let me know in the comments um, if there's anything you would like to see and I would be very happy to do a tutorial video on it for you guys because um, of course I appreciate the support of you watching my videos in the first place um, but as you can see this temple is starting to take shape and this helix is becoming an internal helix inside the temple and before rushing out another escape hole at the back of the temple so here go in the back blocks that's it for now until next time i've been no door